Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create these. This tutorial may be boring to them who already learned the advanced techniques of After Effects. But hey man, there is always something new to learn. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Let's create a new composition with full HD settings as usual. Change the duration to 5 seconds. I am taking white as a background color. Alright. I already created two images for this animation. I am providing all project files in the description, you can download them easily. First, let's bring our logo in the timeline. Scale it down according to your need. Now select the logo and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Now select one of them, take rectangle tool and create a shape from the middle like this. Take your time to make it as precise as possible. You can rename it for better layer management. Click on this eye button to make it invisible for now. Now select another logo layer and do the same, but this time make a rectangle on the left side. Just like this. Rename it also. And turn on visibility of this layer. Make sure there is no white space in the center. Now let's bring our shape. Scale it down according to the logo. Make sure you place the shape layer under the both logo layer. Now go to effects and presets and search for fill. Now apply this effect to the both logo layer. Now change the color of the right side to white, and other side to same original red. Now we will rotate the shape and also at the same time we change the color of the logo part. Let's go to the beginning of the timeline. Now select the left side and add a keyframe on color. Then go forward to 30 frames and change the color to white. Because when the shape rotates then this part should be in white. Then select the right side, go to the first frame and add a keyframe on color. Then go forward to 30 frames and change the color to red. Now select the shape layer, hit R to bring the rotation property. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe on rotation, then go forward to 30 frames and change the rotation value to 180. Now I hope you understand what actually happens. Select all the layers and hit U to see the applied keyframes. Select them all and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now go to the graph editor and change the graph just like this. Cool. Now, we have to add a keyframe for all layers to hold this position for a moment. Let's go forward to 30 frames more and click on this little diamond icon to apply another keyframe on the same value. Now, we will rotate this shape again, and for doing that, we need to invert the color again. So, go forward to 30 frames, change the white color to red, and red color to white, and rotation value to 360. I suggest you to select one layer at a time when you change the color and other properties, otherwise, you will do the same mistake as me. Anyway, let's select these keyframes, go to the graph editor and change the graph just like this. Same as previous. Do the same process for 3 to 4 times, as long as you want to animate your logo. There is another way to do it by using the loop expression, but I would like to show you the basic rules, because I have to think for the beginners also. Learn the basics first, then you will automatically learn the advanced techniques.
alright? This should be your output after this whole process. Let's create an adjustment layer so we can adjust this whole animation with a single layer. Select the other three layers and link it to the adjustment layer. Select the adjustment layer and open position and scale properties by pressing P and Shift plus S. Let's go to the 1 second and add a keyframe on scale and position. Then go forward to 30 frames and scale it down a little bit and change the position just like this. Select all keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor and change the graph just like this. Nice. Now, type your logo name. Adjust its size and position. Lock these layers for now, so it won't disturb. Now open text layer, go to animate and select tracking. Click on this add button, go to the property, and bring the opacity, then position. Now, set the position to something like this. And tracking value to something like minus 45, squeeze them as possible as you can. Also, set the opacity value to zero. Now, go to the middle of the animation, open range selector 1, and a keyframe on start. Then go forward to a few frames and set the start value to 100. Now, click on this animate button and add another tracking. Go to the end of the text animation and add a keyframe on tracking, then go forward to a few frames and increase the tracking amount slightly. Select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor and change the graph just like so. Select the layer and hit U to see all the keyframes. Easy ease these keyframes also and change the graph just like this. Take your time to adjust the keyframes for better output. Let's type our second text. You are free to choose your own text. Adjust the scale and position according to your need. Align it to the center. Now, select the text layer and create a mask like this. Go forward to a few frames and add a keyframe on the mask path. Then come back to a few frames and drag the path just like this. Easy ease the keyframes and change the graph like before. Nice. We are done. Hit spacebar to ramp review it. You can do this kind of logo animation with any other logo, but make sure the color combination should be too. I show you the way, but the destination is yours. Let's wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.